Hello there, it's Graciela on the side of the screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to solve reCAPTCHA validation using Power Automate for desktop. And this process can get a little bit tricky because sometimes you don't only need to click on I'm not a robot, but also you get this visual challenge in which you have to select images from the screen. So to make this easier, what we're going to do is use a browser extension. So we are going to be using the Buzzer CAPTCHA Solver extension. And this example is based and oriented in Chrome, but this extension is also available for Firefox and for Edge. So whatever browser you want to use, you just need to uh, Google the extension name and then find the right link for the browser you're using and then just click on it and then just, just install the extension. What this is going to do is whenever you click on I am not a bot checkbox and then you get the challenge, you're gonna get added this small icon and once you click on it, that is going to solve your challenge. And this works for both visual challenges and also audio challenges. And we're gonna see how to work with both of them throughout this video. And just before jumping into it, I would like to thank my amazing colleague, Andoni Hernandez, who was the one who came up with this brilliant idea of combining a browser extension with Power Automate Desktop to solve this challenge. So now I already created an empty Power Automate workflow and let's go directly to the recorder. For this example, we are going to be using this web page. So I'm just going to copy the link. And then I am going to use the three dots and then go to launch new browser. And then we're going to do Chrome. And I will just select my link here and then also add it on this section. Now, what we want to do with this web page is just uh, add here a number and then validate that we're not a bot. Finally, we just want to click on this on this blue button on this area. And that's it. So let's go ahead and refresh this and then record. You can see Power Automate is recognizing what I'm doing. I populated this input text here and it's recognizing. It also recognized some other stuff. So I'm just going to delete it. And then let's move to the bot validation. And you can see it kind of recognizes our checkbox. And then we move to the next action, which is just clicking on the extension icon. And now we are validated. And then we just click on this blue button. Finally, we click on done and I will for now close this. I will also go back to my Power Automate flow and we're going to see how Power Automate behaves now and we're going to see which changes we need to make to make this work. So let's go ahead and run it and we're going to see it's going to fail at some point. So you can see that once it reaches the section or the step in which we are supposed to click on the I am not a robot action, or I am not a robot checkbox, you see that now it fails. And it is because sometimes Power Automate doesn't recognize this bot validation as part of the browser. That means that Power Automate can't communicate with the browser and give it commands or instructions on what to do. So the way to fix that is instead of using browser automation, we are going to be using UI automation. And that way Power Automate won't communicate through the browser, but through the actual interface. Even though we are here in the web page interface, Power Automate makes a difference between what a browser automation is and what a UI automation is. So I will have to delete these two steps because we know that the bot wouldn't be able to recognize that as part of a web page. And I'm just going to open this UI automation section and I'm just going to use this action that says click UI element in window and I'm just going to add it right after inputting my field into the text field. And here is asking me, what do you want to click? And what we want to click, we still don't have anything added because this is a UI element and we were previously working with web elements. So let's just click on add UI element. This is going to open this picker. And now we can pick our I am not a bot checkbox. We do that by using control and then left click. You can see that now it is automatically recognizing my checkbox, I am not a robot. And then let's click on save. We know that sometimes after we click, I am not a robot, we get an additional challenge other than just clicking on the checkbox. So we also need to account for that in our flow. 
So I will just go ahead um, to add another action to click on a UI element and I am going to click on add UI element. What this is going to do is just add our picker here and then I can just go ahead and select my icon. For this first section, we are going to work with the audio challenge and then we're going to show how we can switch to the visual challenge and solve it by using the extension icon. So we're going to click on here, doing again control plus right click. And again, this is going to automatically recognize my element and then let's just click on save. Now, something important to mention is that sometimes the I am not a robot validation takes some seconds to show up. So it's important to always wait for the element to show in the screen for our bot to try to click on it. So I will use this action that is called wait for window content and put it right before I am not a robot. Here I will select that I want to wait for this checkbox I am not a robot to be present for my bot to continue. And then we also know that sometimes we click here and that automatically validates that we're not a robot because that depends on the number of times that you have used the CAPTCHA validation in the last 24 hours. So sometimes we're going to get this other window and some other times we won't. So we need to also account for that in our workflow. So I will just go back to my animation and you can see here that I selected twice this solve the challenge button. So I am going to select the first one and do select, save, and I am going to delete uh, this number two because it's the same item. So I just captured it twice. Let's close this. And now after we wait for the content, we need to check if this other challenge is showing up. So what I'm going to do is just um, use this conditional that says if window contains. So after we check on the I am not a robot, we are going to do this if window contains. And if this contains the solve the challenge icon, then we are going to continue to the next to the next steps, which are uh, clicking on this solve the challenge button. And then if we don't have that button, then we just continue with the next step, which is just clicking on the blue button that says check. And something else that I'm going to do is just add a little bit of a delay in between some steps because sometimes it can take a second or two for all these bot validations to show up. So I will add here a wait of two seconds, three seconds, and then I am also going to add a wait here of two seconds. Okay, so now let's see how our flow is doing and let's go ahead and run it. But before that, I will change this, uh, my Chrome to open in a maximized mode. So let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. You can see that it solved it and then it tried to check our policy number, but of course it's not a valid one, so it's not found. So you can see that it's initially working. So something that happens sometimes with the CAPTCHA validation is that the challenge shows more than once. So we also need to account for that in our workflow. So let's go back to our automate desktop. And here we are going to add uh, something that we call labels in Power Automate for desktop. So I am going to create a label here. I'm going to let me CAPTCHA steps. And then let's click on save. What we are going to do is once we check if the window exists and then we solve the challenge and then we wait, we want the flow to go back to that label to try again and see if there is again another solve the challenge icon. And if it's present after we have clicked on it, that means that the validation is asking for another challenge to be solved. And we're going to do this until this stops showing up. So for that, the only thing that we need to do is to go to the flow control section and then use this go to action. So we drag it right after we're waiting. Here's going to ask us where do we want to go when we reach this step. And what we want to do is go back to the CAPTCHA step validation. So whenever we click on the checkbox and if the challenge is showing that we need to solve it, then the bot will solve it. And then if there's another challenge, it's going to go back to step number seven and check again if the challenge needs to be solved again. And this is going to happen uh, for every time that this icon is 
being shown in the screen. So every time that we are requested to solve a challenge, the bot is just going to solve it. Something that I like to add here on this click UI element in window that is solving the challenge is I like adding this on error section and then I click on continue to run flow because sometimes it takes really a couple of seconds for this um, check to happen. So the icon keeps showing even though it's really just loading or validation. So I like to add that just in case by mistake the automation recognizes that it still exists in the screen and then tries to click it when it's just actually trying to finish the validation. So we're going to add this here to avoid any error. And now let's run this automation again. Okay, and now you can see that it properly added the text field, then it added the I'm not a robot validation, and finally it clicked on our button here in this section of the screen. Now, what happens if your audio is not working or if you have issues with the audio validation, you can always use the visual validation as well. So for that, we are going to also use the click UI element in window. So let's go ahead and add that step into our canvas. So I will add it just here in the middle and then we are going to create a new UI element into our flow. This element is this little eye that we get here right next to our solve the challenge icon. Remember it's control and left click and that will add it as a UI element into our workflow. Then let's click on save. So sometimes this validation will either show us the audio validation or the visual validation. So what I'm going to do is to check again if this visual challenge is showing in my screen and if it's showing, I want to click it. So let's do this and then select the get a visual challenge button. We're going to put this right here. Finally, I will also add a little weight in between because you know that moving between validations can take some seconds. So in this case, I'm just going to put it to two seconds, click on save. The object that Power Automate will recognize as the button to solve the challenge will depend a little bit on if we are trying to solve an audio challenge or a visual challenge. So if we go to this section to the UI elements in our Power Automate interface, and then we double click on our solve the challenge button, you're going to see here that there's some code that is making reference to how Power Automate will recognize each of our icons, saying that it's going to work with the audio and not with the image. So what we're going to do is we are going to see how will Power Automate recognize if we are working with a visual challenge instead of the audio challenge. So let's go back to click here into this in, into any of the click UI element in window and then we are going to capture a new element so just we can see how Power Automate will recognize this element instead of the audio one. So let's just uh, click on it so it can be recognized. Okay, I'm just going to cancel it because I don't want to save it. And now you can see that Power Automate has brought a new UI element. And if I double click on it, you're going to see that the code is pretty similar, except that here it says instead of audio, it says image select. So what we are going to do is to trick Power Automate a little bit so we can uh, work with any of those two that we want to work. So I will go back to the original, solve the challenge, and I will delete the one that we just had that was for visual challenge and I will go back to this one and let's go back um, let's select this area that is the one that was different so that is in this UI custom section and you can see here that the ID is equal to RC audio so what we're gonna do is just change that to contains and I will remove the audio word so this way Power Automate will know that whatever starts with RC, regardless if it says audio or image, it can work with both of them. So let's go ahead and save and then click on run. And now we got the scenario in which it's asking us to do double validation. So in this case, you can see that it went back to step number seven to complete the validation. And now it's doing it again. And we're going to get this until the validation is happy that we are not a robot, even though we are a robot, but um, this extension really helps in 
fixing this. And now you can see that it's happy. And now it's going back to um, the next step, which is just clicking on this button. And of course we get this error because this is not a valid number for this system. We were just using it to validate the robot. You can see that we have combined browser automation with UI automation to build this solution and to be able to complete these validations. So that's it for now. I hope that this was useful for you. See you next time.